An NFC North battle is going down at Soldier Field this Sunday that you don't want to miss. Kirk Cousins versus Justin Fields. Chicago Bears versus Minnesota Vikings, both at one and four. This could be the turning point of the season for whoever wins this game. Hello, and we're back to this episode of Just Another Year Chicago. My name is Nick Grody. Thank you, as always, for tuning in. We got an important game on our hands. No Justin Jefferson, but maybe no Cole Komet. There are some significant injuries on both sides of this team that I need to talk about with you guys because it could impact the outcome. Before I talk about more, make sure you hit the like button on this video. Put your thoughts in the comment section below. And if you haven't already and want to stay up to date with all Chicago Bears content, hit that subscribe button. So let's go over Bears versus Vikings. Both teams sitting at one and four. Both offenses very hot over the last couple of weeks, but both pretty diminished defenses. The Vikings this past offseason traded away a ton of players or just let walk a ton of defensive veterans that helped bring this team to uh, success for a long time, and they're definitely feeling it after being 1-4 and four out of the gate. Bears have a super young team right now, a developing team, a new team, and they're starting to hit their stride after their big win against the Washington Commanders last week. Vikings kept it close against a team that absolutely destroyed the Bears and the Kansas City Chiefs at home, but the Vikings couldn't come out on top. And the Vikings lost their star wide receiver in Justin Jefferson, who hit IR and is out for a minimum of four weeks. That's good for the Chicago Bears, but that we also have our own problems as well. Cole Komet apparently has a hamstring injury that he's been limited all week, and it's looking like a potential questionable situation for this upcoming Sunday. Sure, Robert Tunyon and Mercedes Lewis can get the job done, but Cole Komet has been red hot with Justin Fields lately. But that means a door opens for another guy. Darnell Mooney is no for ripping apart the Minnesota Vikings as he had multiple times throughout his career, even in some pretty bad losses. But Darnell Mooney is coming to shine and it's his turn to break out. DJ Moore broke out last week against the Washington Commanders. Khalil Herbert and Cole Komet broke out against the Denver Broncos two weeks ago, and it's Darnell Mooney's turn. So right now entering this game, the Vikings do on paper have a better defense than the Chicago Bears, but they have been giving up a ton of points and can't close out games. Bears defense has been playing better, but they also did lose to the Denver Broncos, who look like absolute trash. So it's kind of a toss-up right there, but the, the team is looking in the positive direction, and the Vikings are starting to go down. But Kirk Cousins is the number one passing quarterback in the NFL right now, yardage-wise and touchdown-wise, and it's looking like a pretty significant outcome for the Chicago Bears, and it's going to be a challenge, even without Justin Jefferson. But good news for the Bears. The Bears get Jalen Johnson, Kyler Gordon, and Eddie Jackson back this week. Very excited to see these guys are progressing to get back on the field. Gordon is likely going to have less of a role on this team. Expect a lot of Tyreek Stevenson and Terrell Smith, who is also battling an injury but looks promising to play this upcoming Sunday. As the secondary is coming back to the starters and Jaquan Brisker isn't on the injury list for the first time in a minute, so things are looking good for the secondary. The Bears lost both games last year to the Minnesota Vikings. First game in Minnesota, losing 29-22 to after a huge comeback by the Bears. Time to flip the script, though. Justin Fields is going to need to have another big game against the Minnesota Vikings in order to beat the Vikings. Fields has 610 plus yards over the last two games, including eight touchdowns and only one interception. He's going to have to run the ball a lot against this defense as they struggle big time against the rush, but also he can air it out to guys like DJ Moore and obviously Darnell Mooney. I'm excited to see how the defense handles one of the best offenses they face this year besides the Kansas City Chiefs. And overall, I think this is going to be a very good game for the Bears. So my three keys to the game. Number Number one, let Justin Fields rush the ball. Vikings poor rush defense is going to leave a lot of holes open for him. Do design rollouts. If it passes in there, let Fields rip it up with his legs. Number two is going to be the defensive line and their progression over the last couple games needs to continue. Minnesota has a very diminished interior offensive line. If this defensive line can get some confidence and get Kirk Cousins under pressure, he's going to throw interceptions. They're not going to be able to run the ball, and it's going to be a good day for the defense. And number three, the Chicago Bears need to just use their running backs as much as possible. Deontay Foreman and Darrington Evans, both guys, Darrington we just signed this past week, who is now back on the Chicago Bears from last season, and Deontay Foreman, who the Bears have rarely used, need to both have big games, and they're both very, very aggressive and hard-running running backs that can get the job done. Bears can get the job done if they do all the right things as usual. Keep this offense going, keep the confidence up, and if you're going to Soldier Field, keep that energy going. That's my preview of the game for the Chicago Bears versus the Minnesota Vikings. Thanks for tuning in this episode, and as always, my name is Nick Brody. Thank you for tuning in, and bear down.